All right, welcome to Clean Slate Forge. Gonna do something a little different on this video, not foraging. Uh, I picked up a jet ski, sea dew. I'll be towing it with my van, and there's accessories you can buy, and they're really expensive. So this video is about a hack I found. Clean Slate Blue. Music. Storage. Pretty big. Dry storage. Okay, so prices on coolers from Sea-Doo or in dealerships. This one is a fishing cooler. It costs almost $700. I found another one that's not a fishing cooler, just a regular old cooler, and that's $300. So I went on Amazon and I found this angle cooler with fishing rod holders for $80. Way cheaper. Also on Amazon, I got these link brackets for a stone bale ski doo for 20 bucks and they work on the sea doos i have a gti also drilled the holes on the bracket so they lined up um, and then drill holes in the top to fit the uh, angle iron on the bracket that I bought for $20 on Amazon and to the cooler. So I put bolts on each bracket to the angle iron. Uh, the angle iron's about two inches. I put four holes on the top of the angle iron where the cooler is gonna be installed. Um, to line the cooler up, I had to cut a Sharpie, the tip of the Sharpie off, like that. So when I put the cooler on top of the brackets, I could draw like a, like a template, an outline, and put like little dots where the holes were gonna be drilled into the cooler. All right, so I put the cooler on top of the brackets that I made, drilled holes through the cooler, lining everything up. Um, stainless steel bolts, painted bolts, so they don't rust is good. Um, put washers on it, you know, tightened that up so it's now attached to the cooler. I got hickory wood. I grinded the angles the sharp angles and the uh, corners off of the wood so it wouldn't scratch or just ruin anything on the jet ski. Um, then I got a lot of epoxy and Gorilla Glue epoxy is what I used. Um, probably went through two, two Gorilla Glue epoxies and I found a old red styrofoam noodle that I cut and split in half, wedged those pieces of wood in the noodle and then epoxied the the noodle to the wood and the wood to the cooler so there would be no more drill holes in the cooler and it worked out really good as you can see here everything's epoxy down that that ain't going nowhere um i put clear coat over the the wood so just the water wouldn't get in there and and rot the wood even though it is hickory and i think it would, it's going to stand the test of time it's lightweight there's no extra added weight this the styrofoam noodle keeps everything tight but has a little bit of flex to it it's not going to damage or scratch the jet ski and the new link brackets they line up perfectly they fit everything's snug there's a little bit of play but I think even if you buy one it's gonna have a little bit of play but I'm very confident when I'm out on the water that that's not gonna definitely not fly off it and it's just gonna wiggle around a little bit nothing too crazy nothing too serious um, and then I got the fishing fishing rod holders there and I should be ready to go way cheaper there's the inside of the cooler I'm probably gonna get a piece of that noodle foam and cover it on the inside of the cooler over those screw holes but it's a good hack and it's gonna save you anywhere between 300 to even $600 doing it yourself so I hope this video is helpful I hope it helps somebody else out there that has a jet ski that wants to save some money on one of those link coolers um, a little bit of creativity, and I guarantee you can do it yourself.